He's still not down. He's over! Just opens the stride and away he goes. He's hitting it off his opposite. Lamu! Oh! Chip for Pini, but Kelleher's read it. Lomu has it. Lomu all by himself. No one's going to stop him. Just opens the stride and away he goes. You just knew the moment that he got into full stride that time. There was no stopping Jonah Lomu. Well, we know he's big and we know he's quick. But I'll tell you what, he's got a lot of skill as well, this lad. Beautiful little outside break here. You want to kick it to him, that's for sure. Look at that. Just glides around two people. Didn't have to use his strength there. Can do if he wants to. But he's got all the options. That's why he's such a great player. Caught by Bradley. Cronfell. Bishop. Kicked away to Lobo. Well, what can you say, really, with the ball in hand? He's just unstoppable, isn't he? He is unstoppable. The first time he made the try, we thought for little. The second time he scored the try. Really, John, he's a monster. Well, it's not because he's got any room or any space. It's that he's just running hard and running straight and running just straight over the top of the Irish. Too much strength, too much power. Look at the determination. Fantastic. Mark Hamid's strike. His first is a good one. Brown to Eremia, standing up tall, looking for the support. Who's there? But Grunfeld, out to Lomo. Going the long way around, but it's easy. John Lomo with his sixth try of this World Cup. And that was so, so easy. Well, for a man mountain, this guy can shift. But look at this, Brown, into Eremia. And who's there? Kronfeld. Look at this spin pass there from Kronfeld. And no doubt about it, look at the pace of Lomo. He's such an exciting runner when he gets going. Real confidence there as he rounded, first of all, Murray. Took him on the outside and had the pace and the skill to also beat Metcalf at number 15. Well, let's see where it goes. Remember, Olo Brown is waiting out for the charge. And there he goes, it's a decoy again. Out to Bunce. Out to Kronfeld. Lomo! What can you say? He touches the ball, things happen. 25 to 12. Well, he's just such a fantastic talent, isn't it? But a lot of work was done inside for him. And as we'll see on the replay again, from the wall, the All Blacks looking to push it wide. And they do it very well. First from Bunce, but then we see the number seven shirt there in support, pushes it through nicely to give some free space for Jonah. And they were never going to stop him in those sort of circumstances. Jonah Lomu is unheard of in many parts of the rugby world. Was a comfortable try for the big guy, but when he gets the ball, the game turns around. Oliver goes in to play scrum half. Gronfeld gets it away well under pressure. Burton's the long ball to Lomu. And it's a stroll. Second try for Jonah Lomu. Breaking the hearts of the Tongans, who makes it look so easy. Had to come. And it had to come from that man as well, I think. He has looked New Zealand's best player. Lasted put him into space. No strides, you just can't get him down the legs, they're too big. He's always going to score from 15 metres out. He's the star of the 95 World Cup. Will he be the star of the 99 World Cup? Richards, Morris, intercept by Bishop, Lomu, hands off Tony Underwood, Lomu, heading for four, well, that's the most brilliant quartet of tries you'd ever wish to see. Remember the number 11, it's etched in his eyebrow, and he gets his fourth Watch try. Watch him here, some good work by Bishop, he gets his hands on the ball and quickly turns the attack and Underwood beaten on the outside clearly and Lomu decides inside cap the try line's there a brilliant exhibition by the young winger Lomu all power all step no opposition he leaves him behind as he goes in for try number four and back it goes to Lamaison 
Wilson right underneath it. This is dangerous. He's got Umanga and Lomu. This time, though, they go for the option back to Wilson. Back inside to Lomu. Pass one, pass two. Here he goes again. Bundling them off, and the big man is over for his second try. They just worked the variation of shade, but again the danger was he got the ball in open field. Well, I just couldn't believe that. La Maison just kicked it straight down Wilson's throat. Who's outside him? With Jonah alone, if you want to kick the two people in the world, you don't kick to those two. Garba Jones did a good job of getting out of the way there, didn't he? Oh, these two will punish you all day long. The semi-final stage where Jonah Lomu tore England apart in 1995 with four tries. He's got two already in this one. His 25th try in 37 tests for New Zealand. Umanga. Three on two out wide. Gascott to Lomu. And he sees off Gascott. Healy through, he's gone through Healy as well. And the big man's done it again. No wonder England hate the sight of Jonah Lomu. What a fantastic player. The Scots got him here. No way, skips out of it. Of course, now he's in his stride. It now makes it so difficult. Healy has a go. He's squatted off. Dawson has a go. He's pushed off. Luger comes across. He's pushed off. What a player. What a try. Just as it was all going England's way. Up comes the big man. Beautiful handling from the All Blacks. Great runners all over the park. And look at this for a score. Danger here. Cullen flips on to Lomu. Lomu steps outside. Cuts inside. He's still not down. He's over! And Lomu breaks the deadlock for the All Blacks, regains the lead for them, and France looked frightened. Oh, I don't believe that. There must have been six Frenchmen trying to drag him down. Look at this, he just veers infield. One, two, three, four, five Frenchmen trying to haul him down. Benazi brushed off in the corner, and Lomu crashes over for another sensational try. Incredible. His 14th try in Rugby World Cup. Bash up again, New Zealand maintaining possession. Wide to Lomu. He's got the bounce. He's handed off his opposite. Lomu. Oh, oh. All muscle and pump. He's over for the early try. Two minutes into the game, Jonah Lomu. A standing ovation, let's enjoy this again. What a sensational start, Bashup did it well, he cleared the space, the ball went a little wide, but Lomu pushes off one, and then Carling comes at him, he puts him off, and then he goes straight over the top of the last defender, and scores a brilliant try for the All Blacks. A magic start for the All Blacks, but Lomu had a lot of work to do. He pushed Underwood off, he's gone straight down the line, Carling didn't get near him, off balance, gets over the top of Cat and scores the try.